Hello and welcome back. Let's do some quant reasoning. So we're given a diagram and three circles with their centers on line segment PQ are tangent at points PR and Q, where point R lies on line segment PQ. And we need to compare quantities A and B. Quantity A says the circumference of the largest circle. Quantity B says the sum of the circumferences of the two smaller circles. Well, let's just label which circles are which. So I want to say the largest circle, L, two small circles. Let's say I have a medium and a small circle. Okay. Well, what does all this mean? Tangent at points, da, 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 where this point is on this segment. Mm, that means that there are no gaps here, which is important because if there were gaps, then we would know the distance the length of certain pieces here. So that's why that's there. R is on this segment, but we don't know whether it's in the center. And we don't know whether it's the center of the largest circle. Okay, so let's get back to comparing the quantities. So the circumference of the largest circle, well, how do we find the circumference of a circle? It's 2 pi R, or we could say it's pi D. So circumference of the largest circle 2 pi times the radius of the largest circle, or we can say pi times the diameter of the largest circle. The sum of the circumferences of the two smaller circles, so that means circumference of the medium, circumference of small, so that's 2 pi r sub m plus 2 pi r sub s. We can say it's pi dm, pi d sub s, of course, you can factor out that common pi, and we're left here, d sub m plus d sub s. Okay. Well, since we know that there are no gaps here, and that the center for all the circles lie on the line, then that means that this is a diameter of the medium circle, and this is a diameter of the small circle, and that this whole thing is the diameter of the largest circle. So it looks like we have the diameter of the medium circle plus the diameter of the small circle is equal to the diameter of the largest circle. So how can we use that here? Well, if we have some unknown relationship between these quantities, we divide both sides by pi, which is non-negative number, so the equality or inequality is preserved, and we have the diameter of the large circle, blank, compared to the diameter of the medium circle plus the diameter of the small circle. Well, we know that's equivalent. So that means quantities A and B are equal. And we're done.